Hi guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. I'm sure glad you're here today. I hope you are well. I am doing okay. I decided to fall down the stairs yesterday, so this is a day late. Yes, I fell up the stairs a month ago, month and a half ago. I don't know how long ago I fell down the stairs, so I'm a hot mess, people. Hot, hot mess. So I'm sorry, this weekly product pan is a day late, but that is why. Weekly product pan was created by Becky over at Becky Loves Kanga. I will have Becky's link down below so you can go check her out. A lot of people do weekly product pan or a variation of weekly product pan. And the way I do weekly product pan is because I do not wear makeup every single day. I um, use my product that I draw every time I do wear makeup. So say one day I decide to do three different looks, um, you know, wearing makeup just because I'm playing with my makeup. Um, I use my weekly product pan in each one of those looks. So you guys get the gist. So last week I drew a lipstick queen product and this is from the center line. It's barely nude. It is a beautiful, I described it as, you know, a brown nude. That's it right there. But once you get it on the lip, it looks kind of peachy pink nude so um i've had to there you go i have had to readjust my thoughts and feelings on the color not on the formula i do like this formula i am a huge lipstick queen fan and i own quite a bit of their products i wish i owned more but I own what I have and I love every single one of them. So it has been a joy to wear Barely Nude throughout this last week. As you can tell, today's look is very um, subdued. I just wasn't feeling bright, crazy look. I just wasn't. And I did have a navy blue dress on prior to filming and I looked down and it was covered in cat hair. So I had to change my shirt because, you know, I'm in the mood for the 4th of July and so I just wanted to wear my navy blue dress and the cat ruined it. Although I do like this um, teal. I do like it. It's just not, you know, getting me in the mood for my favorite holiday. So it's time for us to randomly pick um, our product for the next week. Now that I have rambled on incessantly for an un... for n no known reason, <laughs> I now can do it while filming, which is awesome. So I have 2,395 items that are part of the weekly product pan that can be selected for weekly product pan. So let's just hit the generator button. Can you guys see that? Okay, that's the number that I drew. I drew 313. So let me find out what that is and go get it and I'll show you what I will be working on for the next week. I am so excited about this week's um, draw. It is, an, it is an eyeshadow palette by Beauty Creations called Emerald and they don't have any names on these shadows but let's put that here. Um, we just kind of have to roll with it. But I drew number five in this palette and it is this shade right here. It looks kind of like a wine color. 
and I haven't played with this palette once, so I am so excited to play with it. So I was wrong. It's more of a burnt orange shade, not wine. This is it right here. It it would actually go nicely with the look that I have going today. Um, just a simple, you know, neutral look. Um, but that will be what I wear for the next week. So I'm excited to kind of dirty up this eyeshadow palette since I haven't played with it. Maybe I will play with the palette more than just this number five shade. But that is what I have for this week. I am excited. I know I keep saying that, but I am excited. So that is it for this week's weekly product pan. Yeah, I'm going from a product I knew I would love to use to a product that I'm excited to use. And that is, you know, why I do weekly product pan so I can put my hands on all this different makeup that I own and play with it. I hope you enjoyed this video, even though I was a little, I don't know, a little different than usual. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys take good care of yourself, be safe out there, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.